I killed my teammate? Oh, good! Attention gamers, previously on my hardcore WoW journey in only fangs, I visited the land of the big sexy elves to help an old friend get his pimping business off the ground by trying to cure one of his lazy employees who was his also daughter. his daughter. Yeah. Howard and I had a brief breakup where I had a one night stand with a burnt pig named Belly Grub before reuniting Ooh. with my favorite black swine and letting him get his revenge. We had our first guild meeting to which I still miss those brain cells I lost during that three hour rage yelp fest. It's so crazy to me that they can have guild meetings that aren't full of a bunch of level one spamming. Because like anytime I had a guild meeting, this is the way that I could tell that my guild meeting was making the server lag. Is that I said jump if you think the 2020 election was rigged and only three people started jumping. And what that told me was that the server was broken. Festival. I entered the deadly forest where a patrolling diabetic elite jizz stain kills dozens of half AFK players Ooh. every day and I decided that I would be the one to stand up to him. Psych it was all for the clip take notes lazy ho that's how to be a proper hooker and while I promise you'll see the epic battle with the stitch bitch soon enough I yeah. have some dangerous matters to attend to Smart. before. I first had to find Good the proverbial clickbait. Vladimir Putin of the Red Ridge Canyons, Ooh, euthanize yowler. the rabbit and bring its paw back to some bumbling muppet and while this mage wanted help I wanted my glory so my plan was to path through the low level simp bunnies in a way where his younger ass couldn't follow but he arrived in time to ask me to make this assassination into a group project. I remember how I felt when that Chinese bot gave me the shaft on the beach so I let my people pleasing personality get in the way of glory but I figured I would get an intellect buff out of it only to stand there waiting to be blessed like I was speaking a different fucking language before eventually deeming it a lost cause just confirming that the biggest noobs play mages in this game. Outstanding. Anyways the level- So he couldn't- the guy didn't know what an intellect buff was? Classic brain. Like, you've got to understand that, like, classic players, they're really, really slow. Bling guide that my virgin ass paid money for was now telling me to skip the next quest if I lack confidence, and I'm thinking Ooh. clearly Tommy Salami doesn't read the papers if he thinks. I'm gonna be honest, like, killing Fangor at the level appropriate solo is fucking hard. That I think I'm a bitch, but I quickly learned it's because between the groups and the patrols, yeah. you can quickly find yourself in a worse spot than a raw cucumber in an all female too. prison, and this proved to be the case during one fight. Jesus. When Howard chose to be negligent after I told him to come back to me, deciding to invite the entire oh, neighborhood over idiot. to say hey, and this was going to be the end, I thought. My piece of shit pig was low. I had two on me with a caster coming and there were logistical oh, issues no. with my escape route, but that's when I remember the wise words of Papa Soda. Target dummies are required. Ooh, there you go. This bought me enough time to survive and even though Howard wasn't as lucky, a sexy elf who identifies as a cat agreed to be my interim pet so until the Druid battle was asked over. About my only fangs? Needless to say I expected more Paying out of Howard, but I also knew I was just as much to blame for being a bad trainer. This was where I lost my macro writing virginity, jotting down two genius lines of Elon Musk quality code that will one day save me and my raid from Howard's occasional attitude problems and like a true software engineer I had to test my code. Howard sendeth, Howard come backeth I would say to ensure it would work and after two minutes of feeling like a code hacker genius I was ready to fuck up Fangwar. This quest is supposed to be hard but something about the adrenaline from my near-death experience and the confidence I got from writing code so good it could probably self-drive cars with a few more lines this whole battle. How is this guy better than somebody who's played the game for like 10 years? Like this guy knows intellect buff for a mage, the mage didn't even know that. Like I honestly think that WoW actually brain rots you. He didn't play WoW, like every year that you play WoW you get dumber. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. But me gracefully moonwalking through content was about to end as my own survival was now going to rely on some random normies I hired Ooh. off the streets to fight in the Red Ridge War against these trend-taking ogres and considering Ooh. our first pull was less organized than Asmund Gold's bedroom I had my- What the fuck are you trying to say? The I knew where everything was in this room. That's where the Taco Bell stuff was, that's where my magic cards were, and that's the, uh, that was a power strip. I think I still use that power strip, don't I? Where the hell is it? Concerns. 
The mage was polymorphing targets God, with 3% really health and the warlock was playing his own solo adventure and fearing his mob into other orcs when he wasn't oh, too busy disconnecting. Warlocks are so stupid. Connecting from the McDonald's Jesus. Wi-Fi so let's just say we weren't going to be pushing arena rating with this motley crew. But as a League of Legends player I'm used to dealing with inbred donkey teammates and so I figured I would just show how equipped I am to properly lead in a way that Ampi could only dream of. Yep. Oh, a skull! That's Assassination smart. numero uno was in the books and my second task with these twerps was to loot orbs off of the jacked ones wearing dresses. Right. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a high drop But rate. for a lack of better words, shit got real when we entered the castle. What? Why? Another group was trying to rescue Fiona Slay the Dragon too, and I decided to be chivalrous while arranging a safe plan to collude so that everyone would get their nut. This was great until we somehow nabbed the tag and they got pissy and decided to Ooh, flee the looks crime like we scene. Go first, LOL. What started as a two group raid to kill a single elite mob was now a board certified fuck fest and there were about to be casualties. The startled mup- Ooh, is this loser gonna die? But was running away from us and behind walls making any chance of receiving four heals of pipe dream. And he got bopped. He had two on him with four health when I randomly had a revelation. Target dummies. I pinned that shit like a tail on a donkey watch the focus target of angry orc number four swap uh -huh. to it and I'm proud to say, we all survived the epic shit fest oh, of Stonewatch Keep. man, that guy deserved to die. I hate it when they live when I don't think they should live. Keep. It's one of the worst Legend feelings. Legend has it that other group who abandoned ship is still fleeing like vaginal cowards to this day. Pussy! At this point I had to head back to the laggy city because some shit was going down in the Stormwind <laughs> basement and some arrogant douchebag needed help. You probably won't make a difference. Turns out the refugee Defias shitstains from the gang war I won in Westfall were captured and being held down there to serve as the presumptuous royal family slaves and yes I'm allowed to say that because they were all white. The orders were to slaughter these shitters and aside from a slight disagreement on how fast or slow we should- That's actually true, I'm thinking about it in stockades. Yeah, they are all white. Yeah, you're right. ...be doing it as if my group was a married couple arguing in the bedroom the mission was a great success. I must say, after a half hour I hardly expected you to come out. I wanted to tell that one-eyed bastard that it was actually only 23 oh. minutes but after having successfully led two teams through group content I had some words for someone else. Do you actually think you'll be the better hunter in OnlyFangs? Do you actually think you'll be the better hunter? Oh, dude, I'm gonna smash. Yeah, don't worry about me. I just want to show you something, okay? This is what you're up against. We're talking about clearing MC. Now for those of you non- Wow. Wow, look at those numbers. Holy shit. While players, his response in the form of a flex was not only like repping a proud badge of unintentional celibacy, but it was also pretty much the equivalent of showing that he scored a 1600 on his SATs and effectively no one in the world has done better. But what he didn't know was what he was up against. Dude, yo, Rav is, uh, what the fuck? This guy Rav is juiced. That's right, a blushing hunter who may or may not have run out of arrows and had to resort to playing melee hunter for half the dungeon. To which I still top charts, bitch, so all I'm saying is it's going to be lonely. I don't know how some people don't know how to play this fucking game. Like, it's actually so crazy. Like, I see the comments on, like, some of my videos, and there's people that are, like, getting mad at me. They're like, bro, well, of course they were, as it, of course they was able to clear the dungeon. But they all got fiery enchants. They got the, all the fiery fucking gear. It's, it's, it's a joke. I'm kidding you. I'm not kidding. I get what is wrong with people? At the top, for me. Twenty-year-old game. Meanwhile, my other guildies were throwing a raging house party in oh, Goldshire geez. when Papa Soda was out of town, and considering the amount of drugs and sex that was taking oh, place, God. some of the officers were not happy. We are in OnlyFans, man. Take some I mean, pride in that. And as a role model in this guild, I just want to say I don't condone this partying behavior, and I'm disappointed in anyone who was there instead of leveling. And seeing how I, our- I, It's just crazy to me to see the way that, like, they do guild events. Because, like, whenever we do a guild event, there are, like, probably five times as many people there. And five times less people that even give a fuck. It's basically, whenever we have an event, it's like the Kai Sinat, uh PS5 giveaway. Everybody's there. Nobody gives a fuck about the PS5s. They're just there to ruin everything and cause trouble. For real. Personal, yeah, it's just a... It's fucking... It's the scourge.
behavior and I'm disappointed in anyone who was there instead of leveling. And seeing how our fearless leader knew I was grinding my short dwarf dick off instead of partying, he met me deep in the moist marshes and gave me a gift. Ooh, 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 what's in the box? What's in the box? Is it bleach? Wow! Holy shit! I didn't know how to thank him and all I could think of was to show him that when he said, Target dummies are required. Damn. I listened. I now since this. I know my audience isn't all wow geeks, let me explain the reason why I was jizzing my pants over this item. What do you mean? It's purple. The name is purple. If it's purple, then it's good. For starters, it was purple quality, which Duh. outside of some rare Thank super you. virginity scenarios is the best type of item you can get in the game, and yeah. second, it was a weapon. The combination of these two things meant that it would sell for over a gold to a local bow connoisseur, and I'd be 1% closer to getting my mount. Farewell. It was all. Well. Also around this time that I there hit level 30, this meant I could meet up with a slender male elf sex doll in the middle of bumfuck Ashenvale to learn an ability gold. called yep, Fame Death. Is. And the best way I can describe why this is valuable is that I can now tell a diabetic deformed penguin that his chick has a fatty and then be like op just kidding homie and he won't want to beat me up anymore. Wow. If people want to ignore Howard and his contributions I can now let them hit voicemail and say you will be dealing with my pig from now on. <laughs> Anyways, I had one final piece of business in this fantasy land forest and that was to finally help my homeboy cure his daughter oh, slash stripper lover balloon. of her AIDS. He claimed this was finally the medicinal fix to her whoring around. I wasn't Still impressed but I couldn't bitch. stay any longer as I had to meet up with a few True. guildies for an organized coup against the civilized pigs in the Razor Fen Crawl Ooh, but as we, we were waiting I these guys. was presented with a proposal. A duel to the death, guildy versus guildy, loser will have to delete their character. These are strictly prohibited in the guild as the one and only time this happened before, dad's reaction went something like this. You're both at fault. You are both at fault. I do not give up. Why? A He's a oh God. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm and after sinking over 50 hours of game time into this character, there was only one thing to do. There's no way he didn't do it. Wait, he did it? Do cheetah, cheetah, do the cheetah, do the cheetah. Oh, oh, oh. Faint. <laughs> oh my god. I think he's gonna kill him, because he's still got a potion too. Oh. Some may call it the start of a villain arc. Damn. What a fucking bitch. Wow. Arc. Others may say it was heartless. But everyone will now respect Rav's wrath. There it is. That was so fucking good. I was like, there's no way he's just gonna randomly take this duel. But he did. Rav, the avatar, master of all hardcore WoW elements. Water. Earth. Oh. Fire. Fear. Long ago, gamers lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when video games became microtransaction-ridden sweaty overstimulation piss fests with toxic turbo virgin players. Only it's true, actually, and it's because of Blizzard. The Blizzard devs, creators of the best MMORPG in yes. 2004 as well as yes. many sexual harassment lawsuits. Uh, you know, a lot of, lot of greatest hits. Bring joy back to gamers and when the world needed them the most, they released another retail expansion. Thank you so much. This is what we needed. Dragonflight. Close to a hundred. Every character in the game wears eye makeup. It's not really that big of a deal. Years passed and the WoW community discovered a new hardcore game mode where death equals delete and Ooh. one mistake means months of your life. Oh, I remember whenever he fucked up. Remember whenever he fucked up? I remember whenever he fucked up.
This is like one of the first popular hardcore deaths. This guy set the stage for a bunch of other people to fuck up whenever he fucked up. Wasted. <laughs> Official he servers. killed himself with a dark rune. That's the thing that you sacrifice your health for mana. Were created and named after the most dangerous creatures in their universe. Oh. Defias Pillager. Yep. The proverbial firebenders oh. of Westfall. Skull you know they nerf these? Rock. A cave that Alliance players use in arguments to prove that Horde players are the reason Shampoo has to come with instructions. Necrosh. Does it come with instructions? Shampoo comes with instructions? It do, I, see, I don't use it. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, that's crazy. A washed up wetlands commander surrounded by an army of his simps. Get the fuck out. Dude, this and is like, what? That guy's not even a big the deal. The most deadly patrol south of the Azeroth equator. Ooh. A Ooh. weaponized diabetic a jizz boy. stain with a 0 to 60 on par with a modern day Tesla. Bro, he's so fast, isn't he? They gotta nerf his legs. His favorite game is Surprise You're a Dead Bitch. Yeah. Together these creatures have made hardcore wow a giant waste of time for countless kids. But only rat- Ah, uh, that's not true. Nobody playing this is a kid. F. Master of all four deadly things that dumb players die to, can stop them. Mm -hmm. Master Now the first element elements. was a cakewalk to master. The true element is wind. Which is the hardest element to master. And, uh, the wind element in hardcore is called falling off of something and dying to gravity. Yeah, 30 year old children. Yeah, exactly. Defias pillagers get their reputation from being arsonistic asshats and the average experience can be best summarized by a South Park clip that I quote at least once a week. Yeah! I love how, like, uh, w w like watch the way S-Fan does experience this. Can he's be moving his character back and forth like he's boxing best summarized he's by like maybe if i go here 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 right here move out of the south park clip that i quote at least once a week but unfortunately for miss sizzle tits here i've already killed her boss's boss's boss oh. when i was still a wee little lad so her attempts were nothing more than laughable <laughs> get her out of here back to elwin for you is. bitch that's right Mastering Skull Rock was equally as uneventful as a YouTuber boxing match as I was basically the LeBron James of- That's true, I feel like the YouTuber boxing matches have kind of peaked. Like, the last one that I was genuinely interested in was Boogie vs. Wings of Redemption. Like, that one, like, really kind of, like, I was- I was, like, ready for that shit, right? Classic? That was a classic? Yeah. Like, I actually think that, like, um, uh, influencer boxing is, like, one of the best things to come out of the internet, right? Have you seen a boogie documentary? No, I haven't. I'll watch it. Dwarfs entering a Catholic grade school dribbling contest to the point where none of these orcs from Mordor or their blue bitches even wanted to make eye contact with me on my way in. The main thread in here is a man whose name could be some urban dictionary slang for a blow job and while yet- Gazas? Yeah, that's about right. Yes, he's a big threat. The thing responsible for more deaths is actually the, void walker, yeah. the genie that he's let out of the bottle. I figured it'd be appropriate to let the pets play with each other. I really don't know why people don't know how to like... It's weird for me because like I've played WoW for so long. So like things that are just like obvious to me are only obvious because I've played it for so long. But... Man, some people fuck up a lot, huh? Like, some people really, really fuck up. It's a gray mob, though. And then yeah. when he tried to pick a fight with a pig, I got pissed thinking you wouldn't have the balls to attack a grown man like that and he was going to pay the price. Obviously, the age gap made mastering this element a bit easy. Necrosh, the first EU realm... Is appropriately where shit got messy. My initial scouting report showed that Commander Cuck Suck here definitely won the popularity contest in terms of how many butt buddies he had surrounding him. There's I pulled lot. up a conversation as context into the deadliness of this man where some pussy wanted to group up to take him down. I asked how many he has. I he feel like if you need to be in a group to do a quest that's not a group quest, you're a bitch. Like, that's just the way it is. It's an elite. 
Oh, yeah, he is an elite in classic, isn't he? I forgot about that. It is a group quest? Oh, okay. That he wanted to go with four little fear monkeys. See, like, I've never really played the game. I just get power level the whole time. So, like, I really don't know what I'm talking about at all. Like, last time I played this game seriously was, like, seven years ago. Bring fuck boys, and when I asked if he thought I could solo, he promptly said negative Ghost Rider. It was only poetic that I then ran into their little raid group on my way to glory. Pussy! I figured I would clear the backside and then spectate yeah. their attempt to see what I was dealing with when I accidentally did this. Ooh. Hunter moment. Clearly this touched a nerve not only with Necrosh's book club. Bro, you see that little pussy bitch? But also with the pussy boys who did- There it is, yeah, true. Way to waste our time. Bro. Look. If you are playing hardcore WoW, you can't waste your time. Because it's been wasted at the moment that you click enter world. Like, you have signed up to have your time wasted. Like, that's it. That's why, like, have you ever noticed that, like, nobody in Hardcore WoW respects their time? They're like, oh, I have to run across, across Eastern Kingdoms again? Okay. Well, that'll only take 55 minutes. All right, well, let's walk over there. Days of prep for this mission. They ended up securing a sloppy slaughter between the 16 of them, and it was at this point, almost four weeks into my World of Warcraft journey, that I ran into my first League of Legends player. I, I have to say, though, like, the League players came from WoW. They did. They they came from WoW. So, like, really, this is just the, this is the uh, fucking the circle of life. Anyways, it was once again my turn to master the third hardcore element they all did. while no, I was did, being bro, called like, a Huntard, and I will always be one. confused why people say Hunters are an easy class. I nabbed me the cabeza for my credit and then because I'm petty I shared my triumph with the league player. Ooh, did he get mad? And then there was What I like to do is I like to like as soon as I see I have somebody who's mad, I got him on the hook. I I like to make them more mad until they start like cursing at me and then I report them. Because fuck them. That's why. Cheers. The hardest one. of the hardcore elements to master. Ooh. There's no one that solo stitches. That guy's impossible to solo. No, you can this weaponized this Godzilla sperm cell has a body count that can only be rivaled by Logan Paul's fiance. No sane human attempts to kill this as the local town lives in constant fear of him getting the munchies and most conversations with this jailbroken ball of just <gasps> typically result in a target dummy angle where you just yeah. hope to have gotten enough distance by the time he starts chasing you again. After how easy mastering the first three hardcore bosses where I went into this- I think that he could probably just kite stitches around the outsides of Duskwood, like with those spiders and shit, because they're only like level 21, right? And like, you could kite them around with like, aspect of the cheetah. The fence? Really? You do the fence? Because like, Stitches has, like, if I remember right, Stitches has 12,600 health. Let me see if I'm right about that. Classic. Wow. Uh, let's look at, uh, Wowhead. Let's see if I'm right about this. It's been, a, it's been a long time. Watch me be right. 12,200. I'm a fucking idiot. Don't, I don't know anything about this game, bro. Like, I'm actually a fucking moron. With confidence. I'm washed, yeah. Uh, as I said, bro, I never played this game. Bro, he's having the, the pet tank? Bro, that pet's about to die. But seeing as my first 10 shots barely tickled this angry ball yeah. of puss and with Howard already having taken a bloody beating, I was forced to run away and reconsider if I had what it takes to be the hardcore avatar. Bro, just go put put the cheetah on. Yeah. Get the, get the boot in. I went full-blown pimp my ride Howard edition. My uncle oh started my. infusing my items with pheromones and there all sorts is, yeah. of little bitch buffs all for my rematch. Yep. Oh yeah. A local pastor gave Howard the oh, stamina one. he would need to be in the ring with that monster. <laughs> oh my god. He's ready. He's got a world buff pet.
Sure. And then there was Bro, just... that pet's that pet is gonna do more damage than a rat paladin. One last thing I needed. Given to me oh, by Papa Soto himself, who at this time was learning that I was about to fulfill my destiny as the hardcore Ooh. avatar. Fucking Rav is gonna try and solo stitches like an idiot for his YouTube channel. And when he realized there was no talking me out of my decision, he took the next bald eagle straight to the local town to watch, but he knew he was not allowed to help he who's destined to do this alone. I will let him die. Good. He can do it. Oh, he says what? Do pack, pack, pack. What are you doing? What are you? Oh, feign death. Get him Bro. back. He feigned death. What if that didn't work? You would have died. Back on Howard. Howard's health. Bro, is maybe he doesn't even know that it can resist. Bro, how can something resist if I don't even know that exists? Looking good? I managed to keep Howard in yeah. good health, but we had bigger problems. Oh, he's fucking oom. Um. Which meant it was doomed and I couldn't face the reality that was in front of me. Howard is gonna go down. Oh. And even though I hated him for it. Let Howard die. Howard served well, but you gotta play this yourself. He was right. Yep. See ya, bitch. I was now alone and the target of this big fat baby gravy's wrath with no one but myself to fulfill my destiny. He's got a new pet. It's Watcher Jordan. Oh, there it is. Execute phase was among us and I knew it would be poetic to defeat him in the center of town to show all the shitty city boys that there's nothing to fear when I'm around but it wasn't over yet. Oh no. Stitches is coming. If I couldn't finish him myself at this point, I knew no one else could. Tamed another pet, you got the goon squad. One last crit and I officially have mastered the hardcore elements all by myself, That's a lot of damage. alone, with no help from outside factors. Just like me. I claimed this diabetic snots femur to hold as a trophy Ooh. on my right hip for the rest of my journey as a sign of me being the avatar. But despite my victory, That's I fucking impressive, man. Like, I, like, see, hunters, like people that are bad at the game will see this and then they'll be like, oh, I want to be a hunter. I'm gonna be a hunter. You know, hunters are the most played and most died class in all of Hardcore WoW by like a mile. It was empty. All I could think about was the they day I made that little hog my slave and immediately made him kill his own brother. Yeah. The breakups, the makeups, supporting each other towards their goals. Okay, this is gonna take a while. He died a goddamn hero for the noble cause of Rav mastering the elements. But I feared my journey would be over if it meant Howard would not be by my side. I was about to give up hope and go back to shitty League of Legends and leave all of this behind, Damn. as a distant memory, when an angel appeared. Who is it? Behold? You can battle res a pet? I didn't even know you could Together do with that. Howard, Rav the Avatar was ready to save the world. Of Warcraft. Holy shit! That's impressive to be able to kill stitches like that. Like God fucking damn. Like I, I didn't think he'd be able to do it. Yeah, there's a video right there. Give it a, give it a like. It's a, it's a good one. One more. I'll do one more tomorrow.